you're all set. Yep, I am. Had to click on the approve that it's being recorded. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Harlequin Murray, and I am super excited that you guys are here today. Um, this is our weekly training with Ellen Wynn, and I am the person who gets to introduce her. Um, Ellen and I have been friends for many years now, like over 15 now, I think. And um, anyways, we, um, we are blessed to have her with us. Um, she comes from a background, she grew up on a farm in Dallas, Georgia, not Texas. But um, anyways, um, she was in the restaurant industry and worked in training with a major restaurant chain for many years, and then branched out and started her own restaurant and had a couple of restaurants actually for several years. And um, whenever I met her, she was doing training for a network marketing company. She was the national trainer for them and was responsible for training agents um, all over the country. So she's got a lot of experience in that realm. And right now she actually has two other businesses besides her DAC business. And I, we are just blessed to have her. And I am super excited and proud to say that she is the first person to reach the new rank that they developed of, DA, of DAC AD. So um, without further ado, let me introduce our upline and my personal enroller, Ellen Wynn. Awesome. Thank you so much, Harlequin. I appreciate that. And uh, we're changing things up a little bit, guys, if you've been joining us each week. We're changing things up and, and creating more of a structure here. I appreciate Harlequin so much. He's been my co-host since we started doing these live Zooms uh, over a year ago now. When COVID hit, it really put me in a position to go, okay, shake off the dust. What is it that I'm doing? And it really gave me an opportunity to focus on DAC. But in that, I had Harlequin and some other team members that were saying, hey, let's start doing some weekly meetings. And I thought about it and thought about it, but you know, it was a really big commitment to make that. But I did some soul searching and I decided that I was ready to make that commitment. So I did. And we've been doing that over a year now. And I didn't mean to hit um, record uh, screen share yet. Let me go back over. There we go. Um, we've been doing that over a year now. So super excited. Harlequin, I couldn't do these without you. And uh, Harlequin has a huge team growing. She is a previous agent of the month. And I'm real proud to call her my friend too. So glad that you're here. Um, if this is the first time that you've joined us on a team meeting, welcome. Welcome to DAC. Welcome to our team. Uh, you happen to be part of one of the fastest growing and fastest or biggest uh, producing teams in all of DAC, and I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of the quality of people that we're attracting to the team and the organization, and really proud of the work that's going on in our team. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get us into screen share right now and get us kicked off with some slides. As I always do, I like to start with team recognition, and we will do that right now. Harlequin, are you seeing the team recognition slide? Yes, I am. All right, awesome. I always want to make sure so that I'm not getting ahead of you and uh, talking with, with something that you can't see, okay? So I like to start off with our top recruiters. Uh, this is something that was started by DAC corporately. Uh, they did it for about a year and then they stopped when we were getting ready to launch Bank Breezy because they had to re redirect their focus but with that, I have continued on. I used to do this recognition, spotlighting folks that were on our team uh, that were highlighted on the corporate leaderboard, but now we're just doing it on our own. So this is for the recognition for the week of 722 through 728. And these are the top recruiters bringing on new agents into the team, okay? Uh, the past two or three weeks, I have not been in the number one spot, and I was sick and tired of it, so I decided to just bump everybody out of the spot there and move myself up to number one on the recruiting list with 14 new agents for that week. In second place, we have Thomas with RT Funding. Great job, Thomas, with 12 new recruits. Eric Johnson and Maurice Evans. Woo, 
Way to go, man. Maurice tied with Eric. You, you guys had nine new agents enrolled for that week. Congratulations. Uh, in, a four, in fourth place, we had a two-way tie between Arnell Santos and Chris Bartalis, each with five new agents for that week. In fifth place, we had a three-way tie with Eugene Clapp, Grace, well, Mercy Funds and Malika Randolph all had four new agent recruits for the week. Congratulations to you guys. In sixth place, we had a three-way tie as well with Keely Essel, Kellen Burgos, and Shane Rutledge, each having three new agents for the week. Uh, Brianna Trader, Lorna Moore, Maurice Wright, Michael Dew, and Cheryl Evans all tied in seventh place with two new recruits. Each. So, Congratulations to you guys being on the more than one new recruit uh, for that week. For now, everybody that had one recruit is over here to the right, and we had quite a few of you. That number has grown from the previous week. Uh, with one new recruit each, we had Alvinia McLean, Anthony Kentz, Archangel Ramos, Celestine Carroll, Cesar Gomez, Constance Daniels, Delane Whedon, Felix Cancio. Gloria Gibson, Harlequin Murray, Jack Combs, John Wallace, Julian Frilo, Julian Rosado, Carla Turnbow, Maureen or Mar Maldonado, uh, Jennifer Martin, Orlando Darden Jr., Dale Mitchell, Richard Jones, Rob Calla, Todd Martin, Truce Pierre, and Victor Morawa. Mor Mor You'll have to correct me on that, Victor. All right, congratulations to all of you guys on the top recruiter list. If your name's not up there, it's just a matter of time. If you're having conversations and you're sharing our opportunity and sharing our services, kudos to you as well. It's just a matter of time before your name will be on the leaderboard. Now I've started a new recognition here and that is recognizing agents that had their first new recruit during that week. And uh, as you can see, they were already on the leaderboard, but this was their first time getting started recruiting. We had Kellen Burgos, Cesar Gomez, Richard Jones, Anthony Kentz, Mara Maldano, Jennifer Martin, Alvinia McLean, Victor Morwa. I think that was right. That was better. Arnell Santos, Brianna Trader, Carla Turnbow, and Delayan Whedon. Okay, congratulations for that first new recruit and getting out of the gate. Also, um, I left off a couple of people when I did this last week. I had a very long list of agents who had gotten their first funded client since the launch of Bank Breezy. And Joseph Livengood, I apologize for skipping over you. Tyra Wingo, I also missed you on that list. And Robert Wilson just got his first new funding last week. So congratulations to all of you for getting a first funding. We have many agents on the team. They're getting multiple fundings. They're on their second, third, fourth, fifth. Uh, some have had over a dozen. So uh, things are really coming along quickly. Uh, the next thing I want to do is congratulate our newest DAC4. Um, Michael Dew hit this last week right after we finished our uh, training for last Monday, so we didn't get to announce it. I posted it in the Facebook group. I posted it in his team Facebook group, but I wanted to do this recognition on our Monday team call. Mike has just been uh, just steady, bringing on clients and working and building a team as well. So congratulations to you, Mike Do, for hitting that four. I know that was an exciting day. This gives us three weeks in a row as a team that we've had a new DAC4 promoted that has leveled up to get to DAC4. If you don't realize it, that is something that you can accomplish and achieve that DAC4 promotion on your own without having a team whatsoever. I'm going to go through a little bit of a breakdown on that in just a few minutes because there seems to be some confusion. I want to make sure I clear that up and that you're crystal clear on how that getting to DAC4 works and what your commission is uh, at different stages there, okay? So we're gonna go through that, but congratulations, Mike. I believe he had six clients to get to DAC4 before he hit that $40,000 threshold. But because Mike has done such a phenomenal job of bringing on clients and doing such a phenomenal job of 
building a team and just showing true professionalism from the get-go. Mike has also um, been, I, I've been a big fan of Mike from the beginning. In fact, I got to spend some time with he and his wife, Barb, when I was down in Sarasota, Florida, and his sponsor, Bob Stepp. We got to spend some time together, get to know each other a little bit better. So it is with my great honor that I'm proud to announce that Mike Dew has been named Agent of the Month by our company. So David Allen Capital, they'll be announcing that, but Mike Dew is August Agent of the Month. So congratulations, Mike. Uh, really proud of you for that accomplishment. I see you on here. You want to pop on and say something tonight? Oh, I'd love that. You can unmute yourself. Can you hear me? I can. You sound great. Gosh, that, that's real. Yeah, let, me, let me do this. Hang on just a minute. I want to take it off of screen share for a minute and bring you up. There we are. That's, now, uh, that's better. Uh, okay. Well, that, that's thank you for uh, uh, mentioning that. It's very exciting. I got an email today uh, asking me if I would accept the appointment of agent of the month. And I uh, wasn't really expecting it. So that is really, really good news. I'm really excited about it. And it, as you've always said, there's no way that I would have ever got there without a good team started. And uh, boy, we've got a good team that's really rolling along and the recruiting that's going on under me with the team that I've started is just unbelievable. And uh We've, we've got people on that team that are going to be leaders of the month very soon. And uh, I'm, I'm honored. I'm humbled. And uh, I'm, I'm here to help anyone that I can help. And uh, we've got another uh, Facebook group going. So, you know, people that want to jump in there and uh, share and build that are welcome to do so. And gosh, I don't know what to say. I wasn't expecting it, but I certainly accept it and uh, look forward to representing the company well for the month of August. And helping build this business. Thank you so yeah. much. I know you will, Mike, and um, I know you'll be interviewed. David will have that spotlight, give you the opportunity to really think. And I, I know this wasn't impromptu, but I didn't want the night to go by without making a big deal about it because it is super you. It, exciting. Yeah, it, it is a big deal. It really is. We And, and I appreciate it greatly. Thank you. Yeah, it's a big deal. And um, as I said earlier about the quality of people that we're bringing on as a whole, you know, I went back and, and I looked, there's been 13 months that DAC has been doing agent of the month and five out of those 13 months has been somebody in this team. So that just really makes me super <laughs> proud of the quality of people that are coming on board. Uh, and as you said, Mike, I know that you and some of the leaders that, that are up and coming in your organization will be those uh, up and coming agents of the month for DAC as well. Yeah, I have no doubt about that. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations. You deserve every bit of it. Well, thank right. you again. Thank yeah. you for your help. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, all, all my pleasure. Let me get <laughs> back into screen share and I'll go back into a little bit more here than I want to go through tonight. All right, so we've got Mike, Agent of the Month. I love that. All right, so um, part of us growing this organization is us building a community together. You know, the, the texting app that I use, that's actually called the community platform. So if you haven't already joined, make sure that you're adding yourself to the community texting platform. I see our numbers growing on the platform. And I also see when I send out a text message that there is a, a meeting about to happen or uh, I just sent out a video, I see the numbers there start popping. So it behooves all of us to support that community, right? Because people want to feel like they're a part of something bigger than the, just themselves. And I'm going to take you through an acronym that um, Tom Chenault, who is actually a, a million dollar earner with our partner company, Longevity, he was a featured speaker. He and his son were featured speakers today on Eric Worre's uh, GoPro training that Harlequin and I paid a lot of money to be a part of. It's an advanced team building training and uh, educational series that's going on every single week and every single month. And Today, he had um, a great story to tell about the BLT. So uh, we want to build our community because people want to feel like they belong somewhere. All right. 
Um, I've always felt in direct selling and network marketing prior to COVID, we used to meet in person. We would, I, I ran a training center back in the day. Harlequin mentioned how we met and what I was doing when we met. I was a partner with an 8,000 square foot training facility here just outside of Atlanta. And every week, multiple times a week, we brought hundreds of people through that training facility because we had some exciting stuff going on. People wanted to come in, feel that team spirit and get that one-on-one -on -one hands on training, right? So with Zoom and with our network being nationwide, we still have the ability to do that because you know, I see people on video and when I talk to them on Zoom, you really get a feeling that you know who they are, right? You get this, you get this impression of watching someone enough times you're going, oh, I know you. And you feel like you, you've got a different connection with them. So I encourage you to join the text platform. It'll be one-on-one -on -one text. You won't be in a group text and nobody else will see the messages that you send to me. Um, all of you will get a single message from me at once, and I can set people up in groups too, but when you reply, it'll only come back to me. Um, I will say right now, I'm not responding to those real quickly because I don't have it coming in the mobile app yet. Um, I will do that here in the next month or so. If you really need to get in touch with me, uh, you probably need to send me a text via my cell phone. This platform is really a better communication platform for me to reach out to all of you with a single text, being able to send it out to hundreds or thousands of people at once and create that communication. But um, there's an old saying in the team building structure that I've always been a part of where we had meetings, right? Whether it was an in-person meeting or a conference call or um, a, a presentation. And that is, if you don't feel like the meeting that you need the meeting, the meeting probably needs you, right? So let me explain that. So you may think, well, I already know all this stuff. I've heard this 10 times before, but there's always something that pops up that you probably don't know that you need to know. And when I say the meeting needs you, there are going to be times that something will happen on the call. Somebody will have a question and you might have a perfect story to share to uh, cover whatever that question was that came up. So you never know where you'll have an opportunity to contribute and be a part of the meeting. But I can assure you, the bigger our meetings grow, the bigger our team grows. And the bigger our team grows, the bigger your individual business grows. Because as I said, you have become a part of one of the fastest growing teams inside of DAC. And there's a, that's a really big deal, guys that you're part of an organization that's, that's uh, moving and shaking uh, above the rest of the organization. Now, not that we're always gonna be there. Someone could easily come in and knock us out of that spot. So we gotta work hard at that and continue moving forward. But I think that having that place as a community where people feel like they belong to something that's bigger than them and they love what they're doing or they feel the love from the organization. I know I feel that within the DAC team. I've gotten to know David Rutz and Wade Cordell and our home office team and so many agents that aren't even on my team, but because I'm interacting with them through the Zooms and offline chats and stuff, I really have strong heartfelt feelings for a lot of people in this company because I've made a connection with them and I know that we're all um, of, the, of a like mind and we're moving in the same direction with our goals here with BAC. The next thing for BLT is people want to be uh, a part of an organization where they trust. They know that, that, that everybody's got their back. So that's what we do. That's how I am. That's how I lead an organization. We're going to make sure that that you're taken care of and will always have your best interest in mind. And the last thing on BLTs, plural, is people want to feel like they're part, they're in a safe, safe environment, right? And that's what we're going to always provide here with our team Zooms and our team organization. Um, as I always say, I'll tell you like it is, and I'll tell you what you need to hear. You may not always hear what you want to hear from me, Right, but I'll always tell you what you need to hear, meaning that I'll be truthful and honest. And if you're headed down the wrong path, I'll try to steer you back politely, 
uh, as much as I can. And it may not be what you want to hear, but um, I'll always be that honest and open coach trying to steer you back on the right path so that you're doing the right things here. Okay, so um, let's talk about Bank Breezy. This is super exciting place and time that you are here with DAC. Understand this product just launched on May the 4th of this year and it has, it has totally changed our business. So I wanna take you through a few things and show you the changes that have happened along the way. One is, we received a new compensation plan as Harlequin was introducing me and talking about me being the first AD in this new compensation plan. It was launched on May 4th when our new product was launched because we went from weekly pay to daily pay. Uh, the compensation structure was changed and gave us the ability to earn more money than we've ever had an opportunity to earn here at DAC. So if you don't have pen and paper out, I want you to grab a pen and notepad because this is where I said, I want to cover a few things that there seems to be a little confusion on um, and want to make sure you're crystal clear on how you're going to get paid and not think that you're going to get more than what you're actually qualified for. So um, moving through the ranks, these first four ranks, DAC 1, DAC 2, DAC 4, you can do this on your own efforts without building a team. As I said, introducing Mike and acknowledging his promotion to deck four where he promoted himself last week, right? So let's talk, take an example. Um, you have a $10,000 funded client. Your first client is always going to pay you 3%. So 3% of 10,000 as the funded value is going to pay you a $300 commission, all right? After you have that first client, that is going to level you up to deck one. How did that work? Well, DAC1 means that you have already had a single funded client. One funded client means you're DAC1, and now you're eligible for matching bonuses, all right? So let's talk about how that works. So when you get your second client, if it's within 30 days of getting the first client, that means you're amped up, right? Amped up is having a new client every 30 days. Every time you get a new client, it starts a new 30-day rolling window, right? So if you get that second client within 30 days while you're considered amped up, you're going to get double commissions, double personal commissions. So now you're at 6% instead of three, and you take 10,000 times 6% means you make $600 as your base commission. But because you are DAC1, you will also earn a 10% matching bonus, even on your own check. So 10% of the $600 commission that you just earned adds another $60 for a total payout of $660 as a DAC1 on that $10,000 funding if you are amped up. If you're amped up, that's going to automatically mean that you are engaged. So I want you to notice up here that to earn these extra bonuses, these matching bonuses, you must be engaged. What is engaged? Well, if you get a client within 60 days. So you don't get, you, you get it within 30 days, you're in that 30 day window, you're amped up. If you pass that 30 day window, you drop down from being amped to being engaged. What does that mean? Well, if you're not amped, you're back to the standard commission plan at 3%. But if you're engaged, you're still eligible for these matching bonuses on your own deals and on your team. So if you get that second client within 60 days where you're engaged and not amped up anymore, again, you get paid 3% and that would be $300. But because you're eligible for that 10% match, you get 10% of the 300 that you earn for an extra $30 bonus for a total payout of 330. So Remember, if you were amped, you got paid 660. And if you're not, you're engaged, you only get paid 330. So getting amped up, staying amped up, and moving towards DAC4 is really where you want to be because staying amped means you're going to earn double on your own bonuses. You're also going to earn double in roller bonuses, and you're going to earn double fast start bonuses on agents that sign up, get started, and have a funding within their first 30 days. All right. So if you're not engaged, remember, that's a requirement to get these matching bonuses. If you're not engaged, no matching bonus. You would just make the $300 commission on this, okay? So amped up is the best way to be. Have a client, a new client every 30 days. 
If you can't get one every 30 days, at least have one every 60 days where you still earn the matching bonuses here. All right, so let's say this. After you have done that second client, the good news is you've leveled up to DAC too, no matter whether you were engaged or amped up, just having two new clients under your belt ranks ranks you up or levels you up to DAC two. All right, so that would mean that that second client on a $10,000 funding, depending on what your status was, would be paying you three to $660. All right, so now as a DAC two, that third client, if within 30 days, when you're amped up, you're going to get double, 6%, right? So $600, but now you've got a 15% matching bonus, even on your own commission. So 600 times 15 is $90. Add that up, now you get a $690 payout. If you're not amped up, but you're still engaged, meaning it's been within 60 days of getting that last client, you go back down to the 3% commission, $300, but you still get the match because it being engaged, it gives you that match. So now you get the extra 15% for $45. So now you're $345 as a DAC2. If you're not engaged as a DAC2, you're still going to get paid that 3%. So you go back really to earning a flat 3%, no matter what your rank is in here, unless you're amped up or engaged to earn those extra bonuses or double bonuses. All right, so the third and fourth client would pay you between 300 and 690, depending on uh, what your status was. And that would be all the way up to the fourth client. Because after you get two, you're still a DAC two until you meet the qualifications to get promoted to DAC four. So let's say you get to DAC four. To get there, you have to have four new clients and a total funded value of $40,000 combined. Remember I said, I think Mike had six clients before his clients, he hit four, but he needed extra clients to have a total funded value of $40,000 cumulative. When he hit that funding amount, then that automatically leveled him up to that four. Uh, when you level up, you don't get paid that higher commission on that funding that puts you there, you get paid on the commission, on the next commission after you have leveled up to that new rank. So um, as a DAC four, the next client within 30 days while you're amped up, again, $600. Now your matching bonus is 30%. 600 times 30 is an extra 180 for 780 payout. If that client is within 60 days, you've fallen out of amped up status, but you're still engaged, it would go back down to the 3%, 300, but still getting the 30% bonus for $90 add-on and 390 instead of 780. So I think this screen right here, one more here, if you are not amped or you're not engaged, you just get a flat 3% bonus. So I want you to really take a good look at this screen and let it sink in. Our compensation plan is a performance-based compensation plan. You move yourself through the ranks, but if you're not performing and putting methods in place that are gonna attract new clients on an ongoing basis, just consider you're gonna get paid 3% on your new fundings. But if you really wanna ramp up your in income and ramp up your pay on your team, if you decide to build a team, get amped up, stay amped up, move towards DAC four. And then after you get to DAC four, you wanna start putting a team structure in place to be able to get to AD. So let's talk about that because that's what just happened to me. And I didn't do it, you guys did. You guys pushed me up to AD with DAC. I could not have done it by myself because it's impossible. You have to have a team structure in place. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for you guys that are out here building your own business and building your own income because that's what your agenda is, right? To create your own business within the DAC business. So we all are independent business owners here. You're creating your own business, but you happen to be inside of my business um, as the, the larger hierarchy here. So as you're doing that, it has pushed me up a level. And I look forward to those of you that are moving towards that to be able to do the same. So how did that work? So we, we just covered DAC4. Let's talk about DAC AD and how you guys pushed me to that level, okay? 
So to get to DAC AD, you have to have eight personal new funded clients, right? Which I do, all right? So I hit a minimum of eight at, to be able to get to that level. The next requirement is that you have to have 20 funded clients from the entire team, okay? Which we had, I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna go through month by month numbers and give you a summary. So I had that, I had over 20 funded clients. In fact, we had 20 funded clients back in June, but I didn't meet the team structure in June or otherwise I would have hit AD then. So the team structure is the 20 funded clients, you cannot take more than six of those clients. You can't count more than six from any one leg of your organization. So for example, I have Mike Do. Mike is one leg of my business. I have Harlequin, Harlequin and Eugene and JC and Constance. All you guys are one leg of my business. And then I have others that, you know, are popping a few here. I've got Jack Combs on here tonight. Jack is one leg of my business, right? Joe Thompson, um, Pam Warnock, uh, one leg of my business and they're producing. So really to move through these ranks and to move up the levels, you're going to need a team structure of at least four agents that you have personally enrolled into the business that are starting to produce. Now, is that going to happen if you only recruit four people? Probably not. You're probably going to have to recruit uh, 100 people to have four people that are going to start producing. So you want to be on the recruiting mode and um, start building a team. I've been building a team for three years, but my business really started popping when we launched Bank Breezy back in May, because then it was like pouring kerosene on the fire and everything took off. So getting to DAC AD, uh, the third thing was 20 funded clients from the team, six max per leg, and then the whole team had to have at least 100,000 in funding. None of it could count from me personally, it all had to be from the team. So that's where the team structure comes in. So let's go through team numbers with the number of fundings, number of fund or the dollar funded by the team and the number of new agents. So you guys can kind of see the state of our team at this point in the Bank Breezy business launch. Okay, so back in May, when we first launched Bank Breezy, people were kind of getting their sea legs on, so to speak, and trying to figure out you know, what I say to people and how do I get this out? So we had four new fundings in, in the month of May after launching it and everybody going through that learning curve, right? And the total funded dollar in May was $22,500, right? But we also had a lot of growth going on. We had 248 new agents join the team. In June, people are figuring this out, right? We had uh, 312 new agents, I'll start from the right and work across to the left. We had 312 new agents, but in June, we had $218,639 in funded value. What does that mean? That means that we put $218,639 in the pockets of business owners that needed money to grow and expand their business. This is not what was paid out to the team. You can take that funded value and multiply it by probably about 5% for the base commission plan, but there's a lot more on top of the base commission plan that was paid out because some people were amped up, some people weren't. If they were amped up and you had someone earning bonuses on them that was also amped up, it was double on double. So uh, you can add that and multiply even more. The number of fundings in June jumped up to 23 for the team. So remember I said, in June, we had the minimum of 20 fundings and we had the minimum dollar amount of 100,000, but I didn't have the team structure to get qualified for AD. But boy, ever did we have that in July. So check this out. July, we bumped up to 35 fundings from the team, a total of $312,539 in funded value going into the pockets of business owners. Were we selling them anything? Were they paying a high price to buy something that they didn't need? No, we were giving them the money that they were looking for and we were serving our community by being able to help them get that funding. We had uh, some more growth going on in the team with 404 new agents. So guys, 
you're knocking it out of the park with what you're doing on number of fundings, the funded value and the new agents. Um, the one thing that concerns me though is the number of new agents that are coming in versus the number of new fundings. That means that we don't have near as many new agents that are getting fundings in their first 30 days. So look at how you're onboarding people and look at uh, what it is that you're encouraging them to do to get started. I know a lot of you are great at, at online marketing and uh, sometimes that wants to be the, here's what I'm doing, right? It may be, I'm doing some online marketing, but I did not get my business started with online marketing. Harlequin introduced me. She's a personal friend. I reached out to her and asked her to take a look at DAC. Uh, the first gentleman that I recruited in this business, a personal friend. In fact, the first, probably the first 50 people that I recruited into DAC are people that I personally know. And I wasn't running ads and I wasn't trying to recruit people on social media. I was just going down my list that I made from the warm market memory jogger that we talked about on Saturday at our new orientation. I went through that and I created my list and I started reaching out to people and inviting them. How did I do the invitation? Hey, I wanted to touch base with you, see how things are going. No, I haven't talked to you in a while. You guys doing okay? Yeah, great. Listen, uh, do you at all keep your options open for making money outside of what you're currently doing? I've got something that I'd really like to share with you. And then uh, I ask and listen, if they say, yeah, Ellen, what you got? Great. Well, listen, I want to send you a link to a video. It'll only take you a few minutes to check it out. And it may or may not be a good fit. I did the takeaway, only take a few minutes, and it may or may not be a good fit, right? I ask them, do you want me to send that by text or email or messenger? They say email. Okay, great. Which, what's the email address? I verify the account they want me to send it to. And I say, okay, I'll get that out to you as soon as we get off the phone. Can you watch it tonight? And if they say no, I say, okay, well, it's kind of time sensitive. When can you watch it within the next 24 hours? And I'm getting a timeline on that, a commitment from them so that I can follow up and say, hey, did you watch the video? What'd you think? But most of the time, you're not even going to have to ask them because you'll know they watched the video. Then you're going to see a congratulations, a new, new agent just enrolled in your organization. So that's as simple as it is. There's no reason to complicate it. You don't have to tell stories about it. Let the tools tell the story for you. All right. So as we talk about our team growing, I want to share a post that Harlequin Murray shared in the Facebook group. And I just thought this was awesome. Going back to um, some of the companies that were around that aren't around anymore. And I really believe that DAC is in the direction of really making a big change in the direct selling network, network marketing space because of the way we're doing business with our free model. I love it. So go back to um, where Blockbuster refused to buy Netflix. Netflix was literally laughed out of the meeting for $50 million. Networks is net, net, Netflix is now worth $64.7 billion. And where's Blockbuster? They're gone, right? MySpace rejected Facebook's original purchase price. Facebook is now worth $439 billion. And where's MySpace? nowhere to be found. <laughs> George Bell, then CEO of Excite, refused to buy Google for $750,000. Google's now worth $641 billion. Ross Perot refused to buy into Microsoft for $60 million. Microsoft now $507 billion company. So when people say no to you, just keep going. You're worth more than you know, and your time is coming. So when they laugh at your goals and dreams, let them laugh while you keep going, just keep moving on. Later, they'll be telling everyone how they met you and how they wish they would have joined you. So uh, don't let anyone hold you back. There have been many times over the past three years that I've been involved with DAC that I could have stopped, that it was frustrating. It hasn't always been um, a rose garden here. There have been times that I'm, I just feel like I'm out here by myself, just building and building. But did that stop me? Nope, I just kept plugging along recruiting new people, recruiting and training, recruiting and training. And now all of a sudden with a new launch of a product, we've just got a, a phenomenal opportunity ahead of us. So that's the way most companies happen. They go from David Rutt said that 
We've done $50 million in funding over the first six years of our business. We're coming up on our anniversary this coming week. And he believes we'll do another 50 million in the next 12 to 14 months. I really think it'll be sooner than that, but he's uh, keeping those numbers realistic, okay? So um, the main thing here with DAC is that we can transition you from the left side of the quadrant where you're trading time for money as an employee or a small business owner or solopreneur to move you over to the right side of the quadrant where you can become a team leader and earn passive income. No more having to trade time for money to where you're in the position of if you stop working, your income stops. We're going to teach you how to build an organization that will pay you forever and ever and ever. Just stick and stay, plug in with our community, trust and believe, and we will help you get there. All right, those income producing assets. Remember, 95% of the population is on the left side of the quadrant, but that's only where 5% of the wealth is. 95% of the wealth is on the business building, income producing asset side of the quadrant and only 5%. So it's not crowded space where I'm headed with DAC. And I want you to help fill that space with me because there's not a lot of people that are trying to get where I'm trying to go and where I'm trying to take you guys. So the best way to get there is to start doing more. You can go through video after video after video and watch and, and sit in on trainings, but until you actually start taking action and having conversations with people and making phone calls or sending out the emails, you don't really get the experience that's necessary to start having the success. So I encourage you, Get out there, start doing more. You'll start growing more in the process. Yeah, you're going to fumble the ball along the way. Nothing is going to be perfect every step, but every time you fumble, you're going to figure out what you did wrong and you're going to do better the next time. So I'm going to go ahead and pull us off of screen share mode now, get back face to face and see what kind of questions we have from our audience. You guys are uh, just just knocking it out of the park. And again, I wouldn't be at the position that I'm in if it weren't for you guys. I appreciate y'all plugging in and wanting this business because that's what it's all about. Everybody wanting to get better, wanting to take their business and their income to another level uh, for your family or whatever your why is. Um, I want to touch real, bit, real quick before I go to the questions we did a new agent orientation on Saturday, and I've gotten a lot of really good feedback from that. It was a, a different feel than what we do on our Monday night meetings, and we had some great um, testimonials there. I appreciate you guys that participated in that because it was really, really good, and I think really well received. In fact, it was so well received, I want to do it again this coming Saturday. With the number of agents that you see coming into the team, I think I want to do that on a regular basis so that um, we've just got a, a spot for that, that new conversation, new agent conversation to get people uh, off to the right start, knowing that they've made a good decision to be a part of DAC and especially being a part of this organization within DAC. Okay. All right. So anybody got questions? You can raise your hand virtually by clicking the raise hand or... Um, Actually, Ellen, if yeah, I can, yeah, questions. Um, there's a couple of people in the chat that um, yeah. they're not sure exactly who their sponsor is. Okay. Can you maybe go and show them how to find that in the back office? Uh, no, I can't because when I log in, then all of my information is there. So for okay. privacy, I can't. Um, but there is a real simple way to do it. If you go to my Vimeo channel at vimeo.com, V-I-M-E-O.com forward slash Ellen Wynn, I've got a showcase of videos there. And one of them is your back office tour. When you go and log into the back office, you go up to genealogy. And when you click on that, it's automatically gonna show you who your sponsor is. Or actually when you first log in to the, the homepage there, Click on the information center button in the top left of that quadrant is also going to show you who your enroller is. But um, if you don't know, just you're welcome to send me an email at workwithellen at gmail.com. Tell me who you are. You want to connect with your sponsor and I'll, I'll connect the dots and get you guys introduced. Okay. 
Good question. Thank you. What else do we have there, Harlequin? That's actually the only ones that I see. And okay. I'll, I'll give you the names of the two people who have mentioned it in the back okay. off or in the okay. chat. Yeah, great. They're okay. not on my team, so I can't All help right. them. <laughs> yeah, but if you're on here, 99.9% um, .9 sure that you're on my team. I do have a few people from outside our organization that have sent in support tickets to DAC looking for someone to plug into and they usually point them towards me because I try to make this an open community for those folks. Not that I want a bunch of outsiders out there, but we don't want anybody left behind and being a straggler either. So um, any, any questions or comments before we wrap up? I went through some details there, so nobody? All right, I've got Mike Do What you got, Mike? Can you hear me? I can, yeah. Yeah, you were earlier going over the compensation plan and up to DAC four and DAC AD, and I do know. I mean, even I have a question, but I do know there's questions when people look at the comp plan. They see the second tier mm -hmm. that starts at DAC four. Is there any way you could touch on that at least to give give us some insight as to? Yeah. Yeah. Let me let me pull that slide back up there. That'll make it the easiest. There's a good one. Okay, so when you, well, actually I don't have those in there. Let me pull it up on the compensation sheet. That works really well. So to find this compensation plan that I was covering, you wanna to go to the Agent Resource Center. And then when you're on the Agent Resource Center, video uh, number three is your videos, but to the right of that is the compensation chart. So if you click on the compensation chart, it's going to open up a PDF that you can print out, or in this case, we're going to just show it on screen. Now go down to this leadership that Mike's asking specifically about second generation leadership override. So um, when Mike hit DAC4, when JC hit DAC4, and when Constance hit DAC4, I was actually still a DAC4 in the comp plan because I didn't have that comp uh, didn't have that organizational structure, but because I was DAC4, I still, they were getting 30% of the commission share because that's what they earned at 30% there, 30% match. I still get a 5% match override. That's what that second generation is. So when, when you're at a level and you have someone of the same level beneath you starting at DAC4, you're not cut out of it altogether. They still get their 30%, but you're going to get that 5% second level override. And then going to DAC AD, I get, I say this because I am now, um, I get 35% match on anyone up to 35% plus a 5% match. So I get that second level generation override plus the 35. So I'm really at uh, an extra 10% override above what DAC4 is. Um, and then that goes on. So when you get to AD, add the 10% on top of the five, you'll be at 15%. So right now I'm at least a 10% override on the whole organization as AD. When I get to RD, hopefully this month, I hope you guys perform that much that you guys are, are working. I know some of you on the team have already uh, accepted a challenge to get to the AD level and I look forward to seeing you getting there because it's super exciting but as you guys are doing that that pushes me up and it keeps me as a team leader it keeps me earning money um, for all the time and energy that I put in because even though we've got people that are coming in and, and getting those levels on their own right there's still a lot of support there that goes on to help the team grow so did that answer your question a little bit better, Mike? Or if you've got another question on, well, I've still got this chart up, you're welcome to ask. No, that, that answered it, except when you, you said yourself, uh, the second tier 5%, you'd actually be getting the second tier 10%, correct? At AD, yes. But that's only if, if there's an AD that is in um, uh, below me, right? So right now I'm at the DAC AD 35 plus the 5% on the DAC fours. 
So I've got 10% there. And then that second generation, if another AD pops in beneath me, I'll still be getting a 10% override on them. So you don't get cut out because of that second level generation override. Mm -hmm. and, and the uh, the other thing, and I don't mean to sound like a broken record, seems like I always bring this up, but it was a revelation to me as I began to move forward and understand the compensation plan as to what you're just showing now. That was, yeah. this was like a bonus. This was like an unknown bonus when I started to get paid. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And, and some of you guys that, that had a lot of funding personally or uh, personal in, in your team fundings, you're going to get several hundred dollars extra bonus money off of this part of the compensation plan on those fundings that you've already gotten paid on because it puts bonus volume into the comp plan. So like you said, it is just like bonus money uh, coming in residually. So yeah, thanks for, I knew you were gonna go that path because um, that has fascinated you and it, it, it gets more and more fascinating as the organization grows and the funding volume increases. So let me get off a of screen share again. Okay, thank you for your questions, Mike. Anybody else? You're welcome. This is a safe environment to ask questions I've got Cherry. What do you have, Cherry? You always have good questions. <laughs> Just one short question. Um, is AD equivalent to one start executive in longevity? Um, it could be. It could be. Uh, volume wise, it, it, it could give you the volume, right? But you mm -hmm. still need three frontline sales right. associates. You got to have three sales associates on that front line. So what is a sales associate? The You personally have to have at least 150 in qualifying mm -hmm. volume, and then you need three personally enrolled agents on your first level that each have 50. So um, I'm glad you asked that, Terry, because I have a, a huge whiteboard that leans up against my wall here. It's about five by eight whiteboard. So as we were getting near the end of the month, I was going through and pulling up who was getting close to hitting sales associate. And I was drawing their, na their name with a circle and what they had and what they were missing. So what they had, I had all written in black and what they were missing, I had written in red and I was texting them pictures of what they needed to see what they needed to finish out the month. So yeah, very close. And uh, yes, that could easily qualify for one star. Okay, Good question. thank you. And actually, um, AD, AD could really qualify for two star, two star as well in the comp plan. So, okay, that means you're getting an extra three to six hundred dollars from longevity. Yes, yes, because oh. then um, if you've got you've got to have twelve front lines that right. have um, hundred in volume to go towards the car bonus, but you're you're working in that direction when you get to one star and above. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Thanks for the question. Anybody else? Anybody else? Opportunities going, going. We'll wrap up if you don't have any other comments or questions, guys. Uh, Harlequin, did I miss anything that we talked about covering tonight? Actually, tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we brought that question up at the end. So tomorrow night, you want to make plans on attending our monthly, once a month, the first Tuesday of every month, at 8 p.m. Eastern time, David Rutz is going to be going through a live business opportunity presentation. So I talked about on the new orientation, if you've only seen the eight minute video on your partner page to get started, you gotta be there tomorrow night because seeing that full presentation where he covers everything that we do as well as the comp plan in the business presentation, um, it's just super exciting. Every time I watch that presentation, I just get fired up. So make sure you're making uh, plans to attend at eight o'clock tomorrow night. That location is at daczoom.com. Uh, it's in, I'll send out a link. It's a clickable link. So you'll see it in your time zone, but that's at 8 p.m. The business opportunity. Don't come alone. Make sure you invite some people that might be uh, a prospect to become an agent to come on board and watch that presentation with you. Or if you have new agents, encourage your new agents to come watch it so that they can sit in and see and hear from our company president and founder 
firsthand and have an opportunity to ask questions at the end of the presentation. And then following that at 9 p.m., we'll be doing uh, business services training. Tomorrow, Dave is gonna talk about business funding, some of the things, enhancements that have been made on Bank Breezy because we've had some tweaks since our last training on that. He's also gonna have someone talking about our customer finance platform and touching briefly on payment processing. But he said today that we're gonna have a new payment processing training coming in the near future. So that's the highlights of what we'll be talking about tomorrow night. And then uh, they'll be announcing somewhere that uh, Mike Do will be getting an interview as agent of the month. And when that gets announced, I'll make sure that that comes out in email as well so that we can all get on there and support and cheer Mike on for his accomplishments. So very good. Great question there, Harlequin. Thanks for the reminder on that. And Mike has his hand up again. Did you have another question or Just comment, Mike? Yeah, just one quick thing. Since there are some new new people on tonight, uh, they're just getting emails from you, uh, uh, how to get started and the uh, back office video and that kind of thing. But they may not know yet that when they bring somebody on, their new people are, are going to get the same benefit that you're providing to their new people. I mean, you do such a great job for us um, that they may be a little intimidated about bringing someone on, on because they don't know, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? But you're doing it for us. And they may not know that. Yeah, that's a great point, Mike. And, and thank you for mentioning that. And thank you for the kudos on that. Um, it really is, the whole system is just really laid out. So you can get started today. You can start bringing in new agents today. And our system is layered so that the support is there. And you learn as you're going through the process. So um, I talked to someone the other day that was afraid to start recruiting. They really wanted to have success on their own before they started recruiting. And I always say, if you haven't had success yet, go on the success of other people and share our success stories. I mean, I just gave you a lot to, to feed off of right there where this team funded over $300,000 and put it in business owners' pockets last month. So those are the stories that you want to be telling you know, take that and what the whole company did. And we've got a magnificent story, but here's how I tell stories. You know, somebody asked me a question and I go, if, if they ask me something that I don't know the answer to, I said, I don't know, but all I know is we've got a young lady on our team that has already had 12 fundings last month alone, or they'll say, well, you know, how are you doing, Ellen? I don't know, but all I know is there's a man that has come in. He went to DAC4. Um, he's had like eight personal fundings and he's already been named agent of the month, right? So I quickly take it off of me and I'm giving that example to you. If you're brand new, take the, take the spotlight off of you, convert it by, I don't know, but all I know is, and then convert it to a story and tell about somebody else's success that you just heard on this call or success that you're seeing posted in the DAC Facebook group or in Mike's Facebook group. If you're a member of his team, there's a lot of good stories to be telling to be able to shift the spotlight off of you. So if you'll get good, of deflect, good, good at deflecting and make it about somebody else instead of about you, you'll be able to just breeze right on through. And again, let the, let the tools tell the story for you. Let the videos tell the presentation. And when it comes to the, the funding and Bank Breezy and our DAC funding and all of that, you don't have to be a product expert. Our websites have the information there, right? And if when in doubt, point people to the website, have them click on the get qualified or get started button. And there are even more qualifiers there. So if they just read through and start filling in the blanks. It'll either let them on through because they qualify or it will uh, disqualify them because they answered no to one of those questions. So it's really a simple business. We, we complicate it a lot of times because there is so much to learn and you can dive as deep as you want to, but the more simple you keep it and the easier you keep it, the, the better you're gonna go and the faster you're gonna be able to grow, okay? Great questions and great comments, Mike. Once again, I'm gonna close out if we don't have anybody else's hand up. I think that is it for the night. Thank you all for taking time out of your schedule tonight to be with us. I'll send this out on the replay as I always do and um, make sure you're putting tomorrow's events on your calendar and I hope that you can show up live for those as well. All right, this is Ellen Wynn signing off for now. We'll see you on the next Zoom. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you. Bye.
Thank you Thanks. all. Thanks. Bye, Ellen. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs>